Hi, I'm Eric Colette from A Mind for All Seasons, and one of the questions I get asked all the time is, what is the difference between Alzheimer's disease and dementia? So let's define the terms. The word dementia can break down into two parts. The prefix DE is used in a lot of words like de-stress and deflate. It just means without or to reduce something. Mencha comes from a Latin root mens that is used in other words like mental or mentation. So when we say someone has dementia, we're saying there's a reduction in their mental capacity. You could even say they've lost their mind. Dementia itself is one word that refers to a whole bunch of symptoms. To have dementia, you have to have memory loss and at least one other cognitive symptom. And there are a lot on the list. It could be difficulty with orientation to time, or place, or person, trouble manipulating numbers, difficulty sequencing a task, changes in language skills, uh, changes in personality and mood and behavior, changes in motor skills. There are a lot of different things that fall under that umbrella of dementia. So when we say someone has dementia, we're using one word to refer to a broad set of symptoms in much the same way that when we say someone has depression, we're referring to general symptoms that we all seem to know about, and yet we're not being specific. Some people that are depressed sleep too much and others sleep too little. Some people who are depressed eat too much, others eat too little. But when we say someone is depressed, we all kind of have a general idea of what that means. Now, when we say someone has dementia, we're describing symptoms. But we're not saying what's causing those symptoms. And there are many different causes of the symptoms that we call dementia. The most common cause is Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease itself is a neurodegenerative condition that's characterized by two things. There's a buildup of amyloid beta plaques, kind of sticky deposits in the brain, and there's a buildup of neurofibrillary tangles that are made up of another protein called tau, T-A-U. So if you have tangles and plaques, you have Alzheimer's disease. And as the brain deteriorates with Alzheimer's disease, which can exist in the brain for 10 or 20 years before dementia symptoms even show up, once someone gets to a point that the degeneration is affecting their functioning in an obvious way, then we can say they have dementia. So in the same way that you learned in school that all squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares, everyone with Alzheimer's disease who has outward noticeable symptoms could be said to have dementia, but not everybody with dementia has Alzheimer's. There are many other illnesses that cause symptoms of dementia. We'll talk more about that in another video. Thanks for watching.